So it is low tide right now. We just got out to the spot and we are gonna be trying to catch a little bit of bait. Here's the water line. All of this is underwater in the higher tides, but it is all the way down to here. That right there gives us some opportunities to try to find some bait where the water usually is. Now I've only done this like one time before. That was like a year ago. But what we have today is a glove, a cooler, and a dream. And then hopefully we'll get some bait, head out, do some fishing. You know what I'm saying? Save a little money today. All right. Oh, jeez. A little muddy right here. It has been pretty cold around here, but now it is starting to pick up. Yesterday it was like in the 80s. Today, yet again, it is freaking warm out like the 80s it's just nice you know it feels freaking good out here so what we are going to be doing as i said is trying to find some bait mainly we are going to be trying to find some crabs i'm going to come over here real quick this is fiddler crab territory when it warms up these things get to moving around and doing their crab stuff so let's see if anybody's out here hello do y'all see any crabs <laughs> all right well i just threw uav up scouted the perimeter i don't see any fiddlers but that is okay fiddlers are not the only crab possibility now the reason we have the glove obviously we're you know playing with crabs so they could always pinch you but that's not the main concern we're gonna be trying to flip over some stuff like this this is a giant i was gonna call it a boulder but i guess it's not just a boulder it's a rock but you guys can see it's full of these oysters like literally all over it these things will tear you up they can be super freaking sharp Ugh. okay anybody down there i saw two okay boom y'all see that right there that is a baby crab that's really not what we're looking for but it's a little one let him go back under there all right well that's a good sign at least there's life under these rocks oh yeah that's what we're looking for right there baby if we cannot catch any fiddlers if they're not around we're looking for some dudes like that that is the first bait of the day nice thick juicy mud crab we're gonna put him in the cooler like that now you have to be oh, let me flip this rock back you gotta over. be careful when you're doing this all right there's different kinds of crabs you know that you could take to use for bait but there's also different kind of crabs that you cannot legally take and you will freaking get fined out the wazoo there are stone crabs that look very similar to these mud crabs but they have slightly different colors in their claws they're like more of a purplish which doesn't really help me because i'm colorblind but you got to be able to tell the two apart stone crab though is another crab that i really want to do with catch and cook on they're like a delicacy here super expensive down in florida you know the ones where you take their claws and they regenerate them all right this is like stuck way down in the that's unflippable i also am interested to possibly do an oyster catch and cook it just feels good that this foot is like freaking healing because <laughs> there's so many opportunities and this is just fun man i love doing stuff like this all right this is a heavy one oh okay One, two right there. That one's a little small, but we'll take it for now. We can always call our crabs. And what is under this little thing? Anybody? Anybody home? This stuff is like crazy to walk in though. You gotta be really careful because sometimes like your foot just goes slurps in. It's freaking slippery as all heck. Probably shouldn't be walking on this honestly with a healing foot. This is gonna be the money maker right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hold on. Dude, did you guys see all those crabs? Here's a nice one right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's crawling out my freaking arm, dude. Get in the bucket. So not only is this like super fun to do, but there are a shortage of crabs for sure at the tackle shops when it gets colder out. We kind of talked about it in a recent video, but just like these tackle shops cannot get fiddlers. And like none of them really stock these mud crabs. So if you want crabs, sometimes you just gotta get dirty. Oh boy. Oh, there's a good one. There's a good one. Look at that one right there. I don't even know if you guys can really tell. I'll show you a good haul once we're done here. Okay, now that is what I'm talking about. Okay, hold on, come here buddy. We just pulled in a massive little crab here. So there are key distinctive things, as I said, where you could tell the difference if it's a mud or a stone crab, which look almost identical to be honest. One is that mud crabs have little white on the tips of their claws. You guys can see this one's got the white on the tip of his claws. Stone crabs have little white marks on their legs. This guy's legs are a little dirty, but I don't see any markings on the legs at all. And they say stone crabs have white on their body. I think that's, that's a mud crab. That is a big mud crab. We'll see if we pull a stone crab up in one of these and we can kind of see the differences. All right, here's dude. This little mud crab, yeah. No, yeah, that other one was just a big mud crab. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh yeah, another nice mud. You're getting some, baby. Slowly but surely, oh yeah. Oh yeah, y'all see them right there? Oh yeah, is that a mud? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't wanna get pinched. All right, dude, we're getting some. Again, we're gonna double check all the ones we do put in the bucket. Oh, biggin'. Another biggin'. Now, don't get me wrong, it's fun to go out, you know, do a little digging, catching fiddlers, but flipping rocks like this is like, I don't, it's just, it literally, this is so much fun. We're filling out too, we almost got enough, I'd say. This one looks good right here. Or not. That's a big rock. Oh, oh baby. Ow, 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 ow. Legs look good. White tip at the end of the claws. That to me looks like mud crab. But I saw one more down here. That was good size. Oh, heck yeah, dude. It's definitely not the cleanest way to get bait. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That I think is a stone crab. You see how big that was? Huh. I don't know, man. From everything I'm reading, that's just a gigantic mud crab, to be honest. You can almost freaking eat this thing out, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> that is a freaking mega. He's like pinching himself. Better than pinching me. All right, we're gonna let that guy go. That's even, I feel like, too big for bait. See how the, the claws are white and the tips are white? I believe if that was a stone crab, it'd have, you know, they got those notorious black tips on their claws. So fun when you flip one over and one of these pops out. It's usually like good practice to leave things how you left them, you know, when you go to like nature and stuff. But especially with this, I wasn't at first, I was just kind of flipping and I was getting so excited to flip. These little dudes, see these little birds? They're going around picking up all the crabs that we flipped over and those crabs could be growing bigger. See like that little baby right there, there's a tiny one in there. He can go back to his little hiding right there. I know it's like the circle of life, like the bird eats the crab, but no, maybe one day we'll come back, see these crabs again. They'll be freaking fully evolved kinglers. No more little crabbies. We probably have about, I'd say a dozen. There's definitely much mud in the bucket. Hey, there's a spider in here, dude. Hello? Frick out of here. Every rock flip is like Christmas, man. Okay, one more. Oh, perfect. Straight up just waded through Willy Wonka's chocolate river. There's some little fiddler crab holes. Oh, there's one right there. Hello? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Throw them in the bucket. My sweatpants might have been over the camera there. Could have probably just got bait here. It's been forever since I've been fishing at this spot. It's pretty tight quarters, so if anybody else is out here, I might have to talk a little bit quietly. But this spot is it's pretty cool. As always, you know, it's salt water. There is a chance for a bunch of different stuff. Redfish, trout. There are some pilings here, and I have caught some sheep's head here before. And here's the thing, I'm still learning about this stuff, but it seems like you want to fish for sheep's head when it's cold out, especially in a spot like this. We're probably not here at the right time, dude. This is muddy, but who knows, man. Anytime you can get out to fish, is the right time. You know what I'm saying? Dude, there's so many crabs around. If we need more, we'll come load up. All right, we are at the spot. We've got some company over here. There's a guy over here in a kayak. And then there are some people fishing under the bridge, similar to where I'm gonna be fishing. That's just kind of how it is around here. A lot of the shore spots, you know, everybody knows about them, everybody fishes them. We're gonna try to be not too, too loud here and respect other people fishing, but we're gonna be trying this out first. This is a bottom jig. A lot of people use these for tog and sheep's head. I think it's a three quarter ounce. Hopefully that's big enough. Let me get something out of our bucket here. All right, here we go. Boom, big juicy crab. Any luck? N nothing really? Dude, this is like a whole fishing party. So we got the guy in the kayak, three people fishing over here, and then a boat parked right at, oh geez, after this bridge. Dude, it's windy. 
Holy crap. So the reason I brought my uh, sweatpants, if you guys are wondering why they were dangling in front of the camera earlier. When it gets warmer out, I've learned my lesson, dude. There are these little bitey gnats around this area. They will tear, you become a corn on the cob, man. Freaking gnat buffet. They will bite the crap out of you. It's so frustrating. Thankfully though, we have this wind, so. Got a little sun on us, a little wind. We'll see, man, we'll toss around it. Maybe it might hit some other spots up, but I have a feeling like, there's gotta be some something good around here. All right, so it is the next day. As I said, it's been a little warmer out, so the tackle shop actually has some fiddlers today. A very small amount, we got like the last couple that were there. Yesterday we fished for hours until like sunset. Did not get any bites. And I don't know if you guys saw that, we had like mud on the corner of the GoPro. It was like in the shot a little bit. Why didn't y'all tell me that? Anyway, instead of getting all money today, we just picked up some fiddlers. I'll show you guys where we're gonna be fishing. We're changing it up a little bit. But we got some crabs, we got our rods, we got a dream. Let's put these freaking crabs to work, man. And when I say everything got muddy yesterday, I mean literally, everything dude you should see my shoes all right let's go see what we could do so this is literally i haven't even looked at them this is all the fiddlers that the tackle shop had left there's not many and y'all can see right there we got a pretty nice filled bucket full of some shrimp we were prepared for anything man if these crabs don't do the trick which i don't know dude I, I swear i got the crab curse we got some other stuff what the heck is that all right so if you guys saw a couple videos ago we went on this fishing bridge this is the new highway that they built and this big old thing it's like a mile long bridge is the old highway and this is now a fishing pier there's actually a good amount of people out here today all that darker sand is usually underwater so the tide is super low and i think it's about to slack up which hopefully might be perfect for throwing these crabs because there's a super heavy current but i think right now we can put the crabs exactly how we might want to put them again if you haven't seen the first video from here i'll link it down in the description below we caught a really really nice black drum but also nobody was really catching anything that day so we'll see if anybody is doing anything today all right dude there's a lot of people out here i'm gonna put two crabs on our circle hook we just have a little dropper loop rig so Four ounce bank sinker comes up here. I'm gonna pitch this right near the pilings. Oh my god, my crabs. couple of people left so we got some space now so we have two rods out this one has a pompano rig we just have little bits of shrimp on like we do normally you know just to test the waters see what the heck is around I mean so much things would bite that and then this is where we got the crabs literally right by that piling right there that structure and this water still is moving out this way a little bit i feel like once it slacks a little bit we could really try to fish this like we want i don't know look this is one of those spots where it's a very big gamble to come out and try to film a video because it seems like a lot of people when i'm here i've only been here like twice a lot of people don't really catch anything i think that's where patience is going to have to come into play today oh that's a snag oh man i could feel it too that's fishing line that's another frustrating thing about piers and especially bridges like this. Probably a big old bird's nest down there. Yeah, I literally just tied that too. All right, big news. I was down there messing around with the crab rod. We got that under a different piling, just kind of going piling, piling side. Oopsie, look at that, look at that. I was gonna say, we got bit on this rod and I ran over here. Hopefully you guys saw that. You might not have just seen that. This rod just went doo, 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 doo. Hello? I just want to catch something. It's like some freaking cartoon stuff. I was down at that rod and this rod started to go doink doink doink. Then I come down here and this one doesn't do anything but I swear I saw that one move when I was down here and then this one moved again. I wonder if we just got something taken. 
Last time it bit. Nothing got. Yeah, look, we still got shrimp on there. What is going on? Well, that's a solid bite. Come on, just eat it. We got it. We got it. We got it. What is that? What is that? Okay. All right. Cool. That is actually so sick. So if you guys remember last time, as I was saying, we came to this bridge. We got on a pretty nice black drum, a big, thick eater. Oh, this guy looks not the best health-wise. Look at his, look at that. What is all over him? Oh man, patience. First fish of the day. Beautiful little baby drum. Interesting that, you know, he's eating the pompano rig and not the freaking crabs really nothing has touched the crabs yesterday i really didn't put much fishing in because like nothing really happened there were some other people fishing that spot and they were let me send this right back down it's not even near the piling it's just in the dead middle but those people yesterday were catching some perch they were like loading up a bucket full of them i would like to do that for catch and cook one of these days these things are tasty and you can get a bunch at a time but nothing touched the crab we tried so hard. Yet again today, we were trying pretty hard. We're gonna go move that in a second. Those crabs don't get big. I wanna see if anything else bites this pompano rig. Just little pieces of shrimp. Oh. I just missed another bite on this pompano rig. We might have something going on here. That was really moving and grooving over on this rod. What I got? Okay. Cool. That was almost like back to back. Oh, geez. Wonder if these dudes are starting to move in. Boom. Second species. Do I say that weird? Is it species? I was watching somebody's video. How do y'all say it? Speci species? Have I been saying that wrong? Anyway, second one of the day. This is a nice silver perch these things are these things are pretty fun man they usually are in big schools as well so if there's one possibly might be some more these shrimp aren't doing too good let's get reloaded on this top little dude right here all right let's get this back down there let it get straight down almost see the nice thing when it's slacking up is you could pitch this as close as you can to these pilings which a lot of times you know for sheephead fishing or just trying to get as close as you can to the pilings in general it's just hard to do when the tide's really ripping almost impossible honestly it really moves on this bridge i know it's been a little bit warmer the past few days but i just i don't know man there's something about the sheep's head up in this area of florida where i just i just i, I don't know dude it's interesting like the weird thing about it i know i could drive to other places in florida and we can honestly catch sheep's head pretty darn easy it's just like this area i don't know if it's i don't know i just don't think they like me same with the the crabs, I don't, dude, fiddler crabs are a great bait. Ringing the dinner bell. It's just like, I is it is it me? Can we just acknowledge this though? Look at how pretty this is, dude. Very grateful to have the opportunity to just be out here, you know, fishing today. A bit on the shrimp. I think. We were getting bit on the shrimp. Ooh. 
Okay. There we go. What is that now? <laughs> this is the fisherman's dream slam. <laughs> you got your baby drum, your silver perch, and your baby black sea bass. I don't know if I'm gonna be winning any awards with this one, but look at that. You can't lie, that's a nice looking fish. They do have some beautiful colorations. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Sorry, buddy. Oh, wait, oh, oh, there he goes. Very interesting, again. Nothing like substantially large. But I'll tell you what, I'd rather be catching dinks than a freaking skunk, dude. Just to see the ding, 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 ding in your line, man. For a while there, I didn't think we were gonna freaking catch anything. Oh, he's getting the shovel out. There's a beach over here that you could drive on. This car, like, it just drove on it. And they gotta shovel, <laughs> shovel them out. I don't know how high that tide goes. That's a little sketchy, though. Please don't drive on the sand if you don't have, like, four-wheel drive. I remember a long, long time ago, one of my friends had a truck and he was like, all right, yeah, let's take it to the beach. Delaware has like super soft sand beaches, but he also failed to tell us that it was only a two wheel drive. <laughs> he said it has off-road tires. And we got stuck like 10 feet going onto the sand. We had to get pulled out by this giant truck. Fun times, man. It, ha it happens to the best of us. Shoot, I know people who have four wheel drive that even got stuck in the sand and couldn't get out. Okay. We got a fish on here. What is that? Okay. Cool. Heck yeah, man. Another little beauty. All right, again, stark contrast to uh, the one we caught last time we were out here. That one was just, just a little bit bigger. It turned out to be really tasty too. If you guys haven't seen that catch a cook, I definitely recommend checking it out. But these dudes are so cool looking, man. They're just so freaking pretty. Little baby black drum. You can tell it's a black drum also if you guys are ever out like looking and you're like oh is that a sheepy is that a black drum they have little whiskers down here you can kind of tell and they also don't have like the teeth sheep said have those crazy teeth and their fins are different there's a lot different about them but a lot of people get them confused because they have stripes like the sheep said oh it looks like they got them out oh oh my gosh yeah yep by the way if you are wondering 14 inches is what black drum have to be to keep them Okay. I think we got another one on. Or not? Or yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we got him. Nope. Alright, is he gonna make it out? Oh no! Oh jeez. That's not good. That's a little bit better of a fish. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay, that's getting a little bit bigger now. Dude, we found the freaking puppy hole. Now, no means is that keeper, I don't even think it's close. This is fun, dude. Just a little pompano rig. A little bits of shrimp. We found like the whole family. They're so cool looking, man. I'd say that dude's probably 10 inches. Definitely not 14. Thank you, buddy. Hey, the thing about them too, man, they put up a freaking fight. Especially on this lighter rod we got. Oh, right, there we go, there's something. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, it is so much fun on this rod especially. Dude, I'll tell you, we're on a freaking frenzy right now. Back to back to back. I feel like Drake. That might be the smallest one. It's cool too though, if you listen to them, they kind of have like a drum, like, a, like you can hear them. Back in Delaware, when we fished for big ones, like this one I'll pop up on the screen, like giant ones, I caught freaking gnarly massive one but it's really cool if it's kind of quiet out when the captain pulled over him you could literally hear the big ones under the boat like drumming you
wanna know just where. Well.